Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my Trying a New Makeup Product Everyday Series. I Today I have an eyeshadow palette from a brand that I am not familiar with, so I'm really excited about that. It's called Sandbar is the brand, and this is the Mirage eyeshadow palette. <laughs> so this is from my April 2022 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, which if you have not seen that unbagging video yet, that is up here on my YouTube channel. But this little palette retails for $26, which I definitely think is expensive. It's also cruelty free, vegan, paraben free. And so let's go ahead and check out the shades in here. It's cute packaging, but small for $26. Ooh, wow, and small pan size, and you only get six shades in here. It does have the mirror. I do like the colors though, upon first impression. I'm gonna start off with some swatches. So it looks like three shimmers, three mattes. This one looks, ooh, it's like a sticky glitter. Whoa, much more pigment than I was expecting. And then we've got a nice brown matte. Okay, this shimmer is not quite as pigmented. I really like the formula of that white shimmer. The mattes have a really nice texture. All right. Yeah, I like the mattes, good pigment. Wow, that really bright shimmer shade is so pretty. And then more of the metallic shades. Still pretty swatches. I'm very impressed by these mattes though. Wow. These all seem like really nice formulas based off the swatches. And I love this cohesive color story. It definitely gives me summer vibes. And they are the type of shades that I find myself reaching for most often. And so I love to try out eyeshadow palettes with and without an eyeshadow primer and see what kind of difference it makes. So I'm going to apply the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion all over one of my eyelids. And so this light shimmery shade is such a beautiful highlighter. So that's what I'll pick up first, just using my finger. I'm gonna apply this under the brow bone, and oh my gosh, I love this. It's very sparkly, but so bright. I'm also gonna go ahead and apply it to the inner corner. This would also be so beautiful on the eyelid, but I wanna try and use as many shades in this eyeshadow look as I can. This is such a fun highlighter. I love sparkle and this shade is just making me so happy. And now, typically I would use like a white shade to set the lid, but I think for the fun of it, I'm gonna go in with this light pink. I'm just gonna pick up a fluffy brush and I'm gonna dust this all over the lid because I like the idea of a light pink base. And this is still pretty light. So also kind of blending it up into this crease transition area. And this is why I do the highlight first because then when I go in with my crease and transition shades, it blends over the highlight. So then you're just left with that perfect highlight placement. And this light pink shade actually works really well as a base shade to set the lid. You can see how it's covering up the discoloration in my eyelids. So even just this look here alone, I'm loving. Natural, but then you still have that little fun glam sparkle from the highlight, but then this easy to wear light pink all over. Yay, I love when you can transition an eyeshadow look as you go through. And I think that's what's gonna happen with this today. Like next, I'm gonna pick up this brown and put it into the transition shade. And let's see how this looks. Sometimes I like to just stop at the transition shade, giving a little bit of contour and dimension to the eye, but that's all you really need. And this is blending out so easily, very pigmented. 
warm tone brown so it doesn't quite give as much contour dimension to the eye as I like to create with more of a cool tone brown but this still looks really nice now onto the eye without the primer and it is looking just as pigmented and I really love how blendable easy to use these shades are I was gonna pick up a smaller brush but you know what let's keep it simple I'm gonna keep with this bigger brush and just pick up a tiny bit of the maroon matte shade and put this into the outer corner and I'm sticking with this large fluffy brush because I'm not trying to make it too dark just building up a little bit more dimension to the eye shape so just a really subtle amount in the outer corner here there we go and so I've used all three matte shades I have the two shimmer shades left and I think I'm gonna use all the shades so I'm gonna put one on the lower lash line one on the lid in the swatches they are so similar I'm, I'm gonna go for a little bit more of like the lighter pink shade just picking it up with my finger that's how I like to apply metallics and just applying this onto the rest of the eyelid and this looks so pretty it looks great on top of that light pink matte and this shade seeing it on my eyelid it's very similar to my natural skin tone so it's a very natural shade that could be such a great daytime or night type of shade that's just add a little shimmer to the eye but it really doesn't do too much but I'm really liking this subtle subtle glam look that I'm getting here all of the shades just look so perfect together love this color story love how my eyelids are looking and I think it'll all pulled together with that shimmer on the lower lash line so picking this up on like a pointy little sponge here to use it as my eyeliner I love a shade like this on the lower lash line I like to keep the lower lash line not too dark but then I love to put some shimmer for fun and this really does complement the eye shape and pull the whole eye look together and here is my finished eyeshadow look I really like this for the purpose of being more soft subtle beachy vibes kind of I really like this I think this is super wearable flattering sure it's a little limiting of a palette in what you can create but I love what I was able to create this truly is like my style my comfort zone so I am going to get a lot of use out of this and I'm really happy with the formulas I think everything applied very easily I am still stuck on the fact that this is $26 because it feels so expensive but I am so glad I was able to get this in a good deal in Ipsy and if you can get it for a good deal in Ipsy I really do think it's a great palette to have so if you do have this let me know in the comments down below what you think of it and then the last thing I like to check is with the primer versus without it and really no difference which is great to see that's when I can tell it really is a good formula so thank you so much for watching my video today be sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.